All right, so in this test, I'm going to demonstrate how Social Attaché uses the tasks and the calendars um, through, G through Google. So the first thing you're going to do is navigate to this address here and log in with the credentials provided. Now we're going to visit the events tile here, click on events. See there are no events today. Now we're going to go to the tasks. And you see there's no tasks. So now we're going to go to the settings. And synchronizations. Now I'm going to add a, a Google synchronization here. Um, that'll import data from my Google account and also export data from here into my Google account. Now first I'm going to go to my Google account here and show you what I have in there. Now in my tasks, I have one task here. I have the Arbonne task list and in that task list I have one task. And in my Google Calendar here for today, I have one event. All right, go back to Social Attaché. So now we're going to add a Google synchronization here. So I know Google. And we'll follow the instructions here. And I think there was a requirement that I showed the URL here. So here's the URL my client ID and there's the whole the whole large URL there now I'm going to select my test account here and now we're getting this Using verified message. All right, we got uh, right here contacts, calendars, and tasks. Now we've already been approved for contacts, so in this case we're just testing t events and tasks. I'm going to allow. So at this point, we've added the Google synchronization. Just click OK. And here we'll see that under last synchronized, it says never. So the synchronization has not yet occurred. It takes about up to an hour for synchronization to occur. It's on a polling system. So we have to wait for that synchronization to occur. So we're gonna wait here and I'm gonna refresh the page periodically until I see a date and time here. So I'm just gonna stop the video until that happens and then we'll continue. All right, so I've waited a while now, and I can see that there's a last synchronized date here. That means the social attaché has synchronized in both directions, importing and exporting. And let's go to social attaché now and see what occurred for events. We see now that a bunch of events have been imported here from my Gmail uh, Google account, as well as the one that I showed uh, here, test event 1A today. We go to my calendar here, test 1A event today got imported. Okay. Now let's go to tasks. And we see the whole bunch of tasks here got imported. And let's look for the one that I showed over here. This is in the Arbon task list. So here I'm going to do a search for the Arbon task list because I have way too many tasks imported. <clears throat> I 
And there we have there, task 1A, same as task 1A over here. All right, now what we're going to do is change it. All right, so we've changed this task here on social attaché. Let's go over to events. And let's create a new event. Uh, we'll do that tomorrow. And we have to make sure it's an appropriate calendar here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put in my Arbon Gmail account here. Let's see what we're looking at here. Yeah, so I'll put it in this calendar here, Arbon. And we'll add that. All right. Where is it? Here it is here. Saturday, 28th of September, 5 p.m. And now I'm going to go back to synchronizations. And we're going to wait for this to change. It's uh, 8.14 p.m. And uh, that's the last time it was synchronized. Right now it's 8.22 p.m. I'll wait like another 20 minutes or so, and we'll see uh, if this date changes. So I'm just going to stop the video until then. All right, so it took half an hour to get this synchronized. We see the date is updated here. So now we can go check out, um, actually, we're looking over here. Google Tasks. So we see that the title has changed. That's the task that we changed on Social Attaché. And the other thing we did was uh, we added... Uh, what did we do? We added an event tomorrow. Oh no, here it is here. On Saturday on the 28th, that was right. Saturday on the 28th. Test event created on NSA. 5 p.m. on the 28th. Let's just go verify here. Events. Right, 5 o'clock on the 28th, that's right. So this is demonstrating those two um, those two uh, accesses that we require, one for tasks and one for events. Um, that's the end of this test. Oh, and if you're going to do this test using your own account, at the end, please go back to settings Go back to synchronizations. Select your account and remove it. I don't want your random accounts being left in this test account. All right, and that is the end of this test.